Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this physics tutorial series. So in this tutorial series, I am solving the problems from the chapter number 2. I have already made videos on theory parts. Now I am solving all the problems one by one. So in this video, we will solve the problem number 2.14 from the chapter number 2. In this problem, we are given with four formulas. So out of that, we have to find out which of these formulas are correct and how we have to check it so we have to check the dimensions on the right hand side of these equations because in the left hand side we are given that this particle displacement is given by y so displacement is nothing but this is the distance so if we find out the dimension of y it is equal to capital L within square bracket okay this is the dimensional formula for y okay so in the right hand side we have to check whether these given equations or given formulas have the dimension of this capital L or not we have to check that much okay let us solve this problem one by one so in the first part we are given that we have y is equal to a sine of twice pi t by capital T okay so in this question we are given that a is nothing but maximum displacement or we can say that it is nothing but a displacement of the particle so a for a we have a dimension of capital L let me write down okay so v v is the speed of the particle speed of the particle means it is in meter per second unit is meter per second so what will be the dimension its dimension will be equal to so its dimension will be equal to so meter is nothing but it is displacement l and second is nothing but it is the time inverse okay so this dimension is the or speed of the particle okay next we have t capital t is the time period so it will be having a unit of second so in this case we will have a dimension of capital t only okay so t was the time period and we have to now find out from this formula we have to check the right hand sides of this formulas because on the left hand side we have only y so for this y we have a given dimension of this is the given dimension okay that is the given dimension of length so we have to check the right hand side so if we find out dimension of the right hand side of the given equation so we are given with a formula given formula suppose as per the question it is given that it is a formula okay so we can write equal to so here we have a so a has a dimension of l next we have sine next we have here twice pi twice pi is nothing but a constant and this t this t has a dimension of capital t within square bracket okay because this t is nothing but this is the time okay and capital t is the time period so it will also have a dimension of this much okay so here we can see that these two dimensions will cancel out okay so here we can write that the sign of this some constant quantity will be having here so this is nothing but a constant or it is a angle or we can say that it is a constant in radian suppose okay so we can think like that so here we will be having a dimension of l okay that is for length so in the left hand side we already have this is the dimension l so in the right hand side also we have the dimension capital l therefore we can write the given equation is right given equation or given formula let me write down given formula is right now let us go to our second part of this problem in the second part we are given that we are given with an equation that is this is the equation so y is equal to a sine of vt okay so y is equal to a sine of small v into t okay so in this question we have to see because in case of angle so this is this vt is nothing but this is the angle because it is in the sine form okay so this is nothing but an angle so this angle cannot have any dimension 
okay so we have to check for the dimension so for a a has a dimension of this is capital l we can see here here we'll have so dimension we can write dimension of right hand side of this equation we can write a will have a dimension capital l sign of so v for v will have a dimension of let me rub this part so v will have a dimension of l t to the power minus 1 and t t means it will have a dimension of capital t okay so in this case we will have this is the l within square bracket sine of l so here we can see that this angle has a dimension now so this formula cannot be correct so here we can write as the angle here has a dimension of this l okay that is the length it has a dimension so this formula is sorry this so this formula is wrong so here we can write so this formula is wrong because an angle cannot have any dimension so let us go to our third part of the problem in the third part of the problem we have this given formula y equal to a by t sine of t by a so let me write down here so in the third part of this problem we are given that y is equal to a by t capital t sine of small t by a okay this is the given equation or given formula okay now let us find out the dimension of the right hand side because we know already that in the left hand side we have a displacement that is the left hand side has a dimension of l okay so we can write dimension of right hand side of this equation will have a a has a dimension of capital l okay t has a dimension of this capital t okay sign of so this t will have a dimension of capital t and this a a has a dimension of l so here we can see that the sign of the angle this is the angle part let me show you with another color this is the angle part so this angle part has a dimension but it should be dimensionless so in this case also we can write that the given formula is wrong so the given formula formula is wrong okay so this was the third part solution now let us go to our fourth part of this problem so in this fourth part we are given with this equation so this is the given equation so we have to find out the dimension of the right hand side of this equation in the fourth part of this problem we are given with the equation y is equal to a by root 2 then we have within bracket sine of twice pi t by capital t plus cos of twice pi small t by capital t okay so this is the given formula let us see again here so this is the given formula a by sorry a root 2 it is not a by root 2 so this is a root 2 i have made a mistake here so this was a root 2 so this root 2 is nothing but it is a constant so we need not to check for the dimension of root 2 so we can write here dimension of right hand side okay so in the dimension of the right hand side a has a dimension of capital l okay root 2 we can ignore so or we can write root 2 okay next we have sine sine of this twice pi t by t this is a dimensionless quantity okay so here we'll have a dimension of capital t by capital t okay again plus cos of this will have capital t divided by capital t okay so this is the dimensional formula now so here we can see that this has a dimension of capital l because we can see that this capital t here this capital t will cancel out with this capital t this capital t will cancel out with this capital t okay so this will cancel out so here we'll have a dimension of capital l and in the left hand side we have y y has a dimension of 
capital L so we can say that this formula is correct from the dimension point of view so we can write so the given formula is correct so this is the solution of the problem number 2.14 from the chapter number 2 thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you